Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't been feeling well lately, so I thought I'd just do a quick flip through of one of my um, older journals that I made and um, kind of show you what my style used to be or it still is kind of. And, um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. So I'm just going to quickly untie this. This is just um, some fabric that I ripped to put on the edge. This is actually a painting that I did and I just fussy cut around it. Um, and then this is a tag that I made out of a magazine image. And the cover is um, cereal box and tea dyed paper. And then there's some muslin and some um, fabric from an old, old shirt that I had and a bit of a doily. And then you open it up and we have um, some digitals over here some cute little small pieces of like tickets and small journaling cards and then right here is a very large tag which has a small koala bear from a magazine image and um, some digitals by shabby, da shabby dabby doodah <coughs> and then this is some my push prints digitals and all the tags turn it's one of those pivoting tags and then on the back of it, it says, Thought for the day, God calls us not to judge, but to love one another. And that was actually cut from an old um, newspaper. So that just slides back into that pocket right there. And then this, um, I think, was cut out of a Bible. It's just a little piece of note paper that I folded up and put underneath my altered paper clip here and on the other side it has an envelope that I made coin envelope out of tea dye paper and then it has a small digital to be journaled on and again it's an altered paper clip with some uh, scrap leftover fabric so I'll set that aside and I'll put that back together later. And all the pages in this is um, either tea dyed copy paper. I mean, it's all been tea dyed, but um, some of it's copy paper, some of it's colored copy paper, and some of it is um, construction paper. And I tore around all the edges before I dyed them. And so then we get to this page, which is one of my favorites. This is a book page here, and this is a magazine image. Again, these are some small little tickets from a digital. And we have this small little envelope. And a small journaling card. And another small journaling card. And then in this back pocket here, we have a large tea dyed um, not construction paper what is it called uh, cardstock tea dyed cardstock so put those back in real quick and we have more some more tea dyed paper and then on this page we have a um, magazine image that I put on cardstock and we have this cute little um, a digital that I'm turned into altered paperclip, or put onto a paperclip. So that goes to that page. <clears throat> More paper for writing space. And then in this pocket we have a tag that I made out of a digital, and um, one of those. Uh, cardstock flowers, paper flowers, and uh, this is actually a um, letter to somebody that was written on the front of a book whenever they gave them the book, and um, it's actually a vintage letter, and then this is magazine image, and it's got some uh, cheesecloth behind it. Lots of paper for writing. 
And then this pocket, which is the same thing, uh, it's the other half of the letter. You can actually see the date on this one. It says 19, 1909, I think. December 25th of 1909. And then a journaling card out of a digital. Another journaling card out of a digital. And same thing, journaling card out of a digital. That was printed on cardstock. And then this is just a large tag out of a digital. This is one of those Tim Holtz flowers. And And then another tag out of a digital with a bit of scrap fabric at the top. This is an envelope that I made out of a magazine image, and this is a Tim Holtz butterfly. And there's nothing currently in the pocket. And, uh, I put the magazine image on a brown paper bag. And it just tucks back in like so. This is one of those caged belly bands. These pieces, actually, I cut off the edge of a calendar. My mother was fixing to throw her calendar away, and I was like, hold on, I need the edge of the calendar. It's too pretty to throw away. And then this is um, a large journaling card out of brown paper bag that I just put some lace or some trim on. Wow, that came apart. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I should glue that down a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know why it came apart. And then these are some vintage playing cards. And um, I folded down the edge of the paper so you could still see that it was a playing card. I forgot that I'd done that. <clears throat> I'm going to do that again with the other ones that I have. Hopefully I'll remember to do it. Now if I can get them back on the page. The paper clip and then we got some doily. Lots of paper. This is a old tag that um, came with um, some lace that my mother bought. And so I just glued it down to the page. I left the 50 cent pre yard mark down on it. And then I just put some uh, journaling cards that were added digitals that I printed on cardstock. And I also added some lace to the tag to hang off the page. More tea dye paper, the other half of the digital. And if you notice how this journal is like laying completely flat, that's because it's a Coptic stitch bound journal. Um, I forget who I learned that from. I think it's C Lemon. Yes, C Lemon on YouTube. I learned how to do the Coptic stitch binding. And I'll show you what the back of what the spine of it looks like in a minute. And then this is a tag, and that was inspired by the Book Vandal Shop. And then this is another one of those altered paper clips that I don't have anything paper clip to it yet. Bunch of paper. And this is one of my favorite tags that I did. It's um, a digital, some lace from Hobby Lobby, this, um, the Bluebird sticker. It was a sticker that I fussy cut, um, I got on Amazon. And then this is uh, some Tim Holtz flowers, and, and that's part of a digital as well. And then the back for writing space. And then we got this pocket here that I, um, I think I had actually messed up the digital or something, and so I decided to just tear it like um, the Book Vandal Shop had done with some of hers. And this is another journaling card that I done out of a um, brown paper bag. And this is just a magazine image that I glued onto it. And this is actually an altered paper clip out of um, labels <laughs> and some cardstock. You can see the cardstock on this side. I got some more paper, some more paper. I like the ripped edge and that none of them are even. And I tried to purposely make them that way. I thought it would be like the edge would kind of look like flowers or something. That was my hope. Flower petals, I guess I should say. 
a lot of writing space in this journal. And then this is a um, window envelope that I turned into a pocket. This is magazine image. This is a magazine image, the butterfly and the flowers. And even some of the collaging was magazine image. And this is a digital that I uh, printed on cardstock. This was um, cardstock that I covered with book page. And then um, I put some magazine flowers on it. And I actually wrapped them around the tag. And then this one, um, I tried to do that woven um, paper like uh, Gail Agostinelli does. And um, it reminded me of one of those high-end brands. Um, I forget what it's called. And if I tried to remember, I'd probably say something wrong. But um, I would decide to put a pink bow on it because of that, because it reminded me of that uh, brand. And then I actually wrapped the envelope around. I seen this done by Gail Agostinelli as well. And again, you can see the magazine image there. This is a Shabby Dabby Doodle label. Um, I don't remember who I got this journaling card from, the digital. But it just opens up like so. It actually opens up almost backwards. And I'm not sure why that is, but it does. And then this is a um, brown paper bag tag with um, a digital from my Porsche prints that I printed on vellum. And then this was um, by Pink Marner Prints, the label Grateful Heart. And then this is just some tea dyed fabric that I stapled to the top of it. More pages, more pages. And this is a banner tuck spot that i seen done by Gail Gastinelli. And these roses are um, magazine images as well. It's a book page. Um, this was a digital from my Porsche prints that I've printed incorrectly somehow. I think I printed it incorrectly. Maybe not, but it, it was so small and stuff. I just decided to decorate it as a journaling card with, again, magazine butterflies and... Um, Yes, those flowers that I can't remember what they're called. Cherry blossoms, that's what they're called. Some more doily. There's the other part of the doily. Quite a large journal. I don't even know how many pages are in here. And then this is a, um, a layered tag pocket. Again, I've seen this done by Gail Agostinelli. And I use several different um, digitals by several different people on it. But this back here is actually a wrapper from uh, Graham Crackers. And then this pocket here, or not pocket, this in this pocket here we have a, a brown paper bag journaling card just with some lace on it. And then we have some um, digitals for journaling cards. I don't think I'm putting this back right. <laughs> Which bucket do you belong in? I don't remember. Okay, we'll leave it like that. And then uh, this is, a, again, a magazine image. And, um, or no, this is a calendar image. And if you see this, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see how the edge is kind of white? I actually, after cutting um, out my pocket, I uh, took a racer to it. <laughs> I don't remember how I figured that out, but um, I think I had 
uh, used pencil markings to um, trace out my pocket and I wanted to remove the pencil markings and it actually rubbed part of the ink off the uh, imaging which I thought was pretty cool and this is just one of those um, the little flip books notebook scrap paper things um, with a paper flower that I made and then this is another one of those um, tags that pivot at the top and um, this is a digital by Taylor made journals this is a beautiful day and then there's the back of them for writing space with some lace at the top that I got from Walmart almost to the end that's the end <laughs> and then I got this label that I want to write um, that is m made by me and my name and stuff and whoever it goes to and again this is just some tea dyed paper that I covered um, what is it called again cereal box with I'll tie it back up and then I'll show you the spine. So this is what Coptic stitch binding looks like. I think it goes, I think I should hold it this way. You can kind of see it's almost like this braided effect, which I really like. And I like how you can see the uh, papers by doing this type of spine. And um, I purposely tried to do it kind of like a rainbow <laughs> gradient effect. So I made sure that uh, to specifically choose the outside page and whenever I done it. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me flip through this journal, one of my favorites that I made um, in the very beginning. And um, I hope you will join me in my next video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that um, you will subscribe and um, become part of uh, my, become part of my fun and join me in my next video for the fun that we will be having in it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.